Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. So you move into the president, uh, the role of the president of the International Mission Board, 2018. This is a big job. You just mentioned the numbers of all these missionaries. Um, so there's some challenges. What are some of the challenges you've experienced? But alternatively, um, some of the greatest rewards that you see or feel uh, in this role in the IMB. Yeah, you know, two, two big challenges that lots of challenges in an organization like this, lots sure. of challenges uh, when you're uh, engaged at uh, what I would refer to as this level of spiritual warfare. I mean, I, I think that that Great Commission works, the most important work that's happening in the universe Amen. on any yeah. given day. Amen. And uh, those who would who engage in that work are going to meet with an enemy. Uh, so uh, the, lots of challenges. The two biggest challenges, uh, one for the organization has been uh, you've seen the organization turn organization had been in uh, significant decline for literally for decades. Uh, if you go back nearly 30 years, uh, revenue, the, 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 the funding of the organization has fallen behind inflation almost every year. You know, revenue may have been a little down from prior year, a little up from prior year, but it was always behind inflation. And so the organization getting poorer and poorer and poorer every year, uh, that really came to a head in about 2008. And between 2008 and 2018, uh, the organization went through several significant retractions uh, and downsizings uh, to the point that uh, when I came into my role, uh, the organization was uh, had been reduced 40% wow. in terms of the frontline missionaries. Mm -hmm. At I one point, that. we've been up to about 5,700. When I came into role, we we're down between 34 and 3,500 missionaries. So you've lost over 2,000 frontline workers, yeah. uh, which is you know, just a significant uh, uh, drawdown in, in the troops. Uh, so the, the the big challenge has been how do we turn this around? Yeah. Uh, how do we reconnect with churches, with our constituency, with donors? Uh, again, I mentioned that missionary sending pipeline. Uh, one, one of the the, the uh, startling realities when I mentioned we had eighty five people in that career pipeline, about two hundred in uh, the overall pipeline. Well, it takes three hundred new missionaries a year going out to serve through the IMB just to keep our numbers stable hmm. in terms of the number who's serving overseas. Because you have to account for those two-year missionaries finishing their term, coming home, yeah. career missionaries retiring, coming home. So we have a turnover of about sure. 300 every year. Uh, when I talk about our pipeline, not everybody who enters the pipeline goes through the IMB. There are issues that come up, medical issues. Yeah. Uh, a sense of uh, calling. They they were trying to get clarity, and and it turns out they don't. They didn't feel at the end of the day that they needed to move forward at some yeah. point in the process, uh, and so we we were uh, just continuing to shrink because we didn't have enough people coming into the pipeline. Uh, so this when when we talk about finances getting better, when we talk about that pipeline growing again, tripled, almost quadruples at, at this point. This is this has been uh, uh, tough work, uh, turning around an organization that now is 176 years old. Yeah, so it's yeah. not like it, it's not like we're a startup sure. and uh, nimble. Yeah. <laughs> we, we've got a lot of history <laughs> and, yeah. uh, and, a, and a big footprint around the world. Uh, but but there was some things we obviously needed to change in how we were doing, connect with churches, donors, get the message out that missionaries can go through the IMB. So we're still in that process. We, yeah. we got a long ways to go to where we think we can get to, uh, but by the Lord's kindness, we're, we're sensing the turn, we're getting momentum and uh, incredibly thankful for that. The other big challenge has been a global pandemic. Uh, I've heard I of mean, that it's, one. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not been without its effect uh, uh, at yeah. the IMB or on everybody around the world, right? So uh, the, the uh, uh, challenges of keeping people overseas. Hmm. Uh, yeah, just maintaining been, a visa is difficult enough, let alone making disciples, right? We had at one point about 1,200 missionaries who were supposed to be overseas here in the U.S. Wow, because they couldn't get and back in to their particular countries? Couldn't get back in. 
visas issues. Yeah. There were others. Those were the big issues. Uh, but you know, some it was it was health concerns given uh, the state of their own health and the remote places where they were serving that we needed to have them out in in a place where medical better med- better better medical care was available. It was, it was lots of lots of little reasons, but the big deal was the visas and keeping. Uh, so the logistics of all of that, moving people and uh, getting people uh, back to the States, then getting them redeployed when opportunities became available for them to redeploy, uh, that's been huge. We, every year there are literally between 20 and 30,000 volunteers who go out from Southern Baptist churches and uh, a ton of those, most of those serve alongside of our missionaries somewhere around the world on those short-term mission trips, a week, two weeks, three weeks. And and we, we had like nobody <laughs> come out for a year. Uh, so tens of thousands of people who have been walking alongside of our missionaries, who have been a part of those evangelism projects and, uh, uh, been encouraging our missionaries, praying for our missionaries, catching the vision themselves. So they're giving yeah. more and praying more. That just, you know, it just it's almost a dead stop. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and so the challenges that all of this, uh, the impact of all of that upon the IMB, a global missionary sending uh, agency, uh, was significant. Mm. Uh, so that that's 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 the other big of the two big challenges that we <laughs> face. The other yeah. big challenge now. Uh, again, even in uh, not only in it's trying to turn the corner and begin to grow again, uh, which we have a goal over the next five years of growing our missionary force by 500. Wow. Okay. Uh, and we're, we're working towards that goal. But even in the pandemic, with those challenges, we've also seen great opportunity. Mm-hmm. Uh, we saw greater generosity in churches that couldn't take those mission trips. And they understood the importance of having their missionaries who live overseas yeah. uh, uh, still there. So what, what I was was pleased to be able to report to Southern Baptists uh, is that for 176 years, not a day has passed that you've been without a witness among the nations. Mm-hmm. And that's still true in a global pandemic. You still have yeah. missionaries serving all around the world. Uh, a few of them have got disrupted and interrupted, but you still have a f- couple thousand and now back up over 3,000 uh, missionaries who are living and serving around the world. That's the value of those career missionaries, those longer term missionaries. Uh, they continue the work even in the midst of a war or a global mm-hmm. pandemic. Uh, the witness remains. Yeah. Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. This podcast is powered by Within Reach Global. Subscribe, watch, and listen on YouTube today. Visit missionspulse.com.